Let's get started with creating a web test and test project. The first thing we'll do is create a project to hold our tests. So we can do this by clicking on the Add New Project button to bring up this panel. A project helps you manage all tests related to a project you're working on. And it also, as with everything in Test Project, is designed around the idea of collaboration. So we can add an unlimited number of users to a project, granting them specific permissions. And this makes it easy for an entire team to work together on testing a project. So let's give this a name. We'll call it Example Site and go ahead and create it. So Test Project creates that project for us and brings us to it. Within this project, we can do a few things. We can create tests, create jobs, add elements, add data sources for data-driven tests, and more. In this video, we're going to create a test. So let's just click on the button right here and create a test. You can see here that there are a few different kinds of tests that Test Project supports. We can create mobile, web, or coded tests. For our first test here, let's just create a web test. So we'll select that and click Next. And now we can give it a name. We'll call it First Login and click Next. Now we need to choose what web application this test is for. So let's just add a new application for testing in this case. So we'll click on here. We'll give it a name. We'll call it Test Project example and we'll use the test project example site for this so example.testproject.io and we'll click on finish now test project has already chosen the site we just added so we can just click next here and then we're given a few options on how we might want to create a test test projects in browser recorder is a great way to quickly and easily get a test up and running so let's choose to use that and then click on Start Testing to open it up. You can see that the test recorder has opened a new browser window with the example site loaded and ready for us to use. So let's go ahead and fill out the login form here. First of all, we'll just click on the first name box. And as we do that, we can see that Test Project automatically adds a step to our test case with that click. And we can click on that test step to bring up details on it. You can see here that it's finding the element based on the ID of that element called name. And if we wanted to edit that, we could. So we could click on the edit icon here. And we could change any of these selectors to help us find it in different ways if we wanted to do that. But we'll leave that element as it is. We'll just go back to there. If we go back to the element on the page here and mouse over it, we can hit shift twice quickly to freeze that element for us and bring up the element inspector menu with some options. If we go to Actions, we can choose the Type Text option. And this begins the process of creating a new test step for us. It brings us to the details of that test step. The Action Type has been set here to Type Text, as you can see. And so we can type in any text that we want. So let's fill this in with a name. We'll just say John Doe. And then create this test step. And you can see that this test step has been added to our test now. So we can do a similar process to fill in the password. So we'll click on the password field here, and that adds the step for us. But this time, instead of mousing over the element, let's use the plus button here to add a new step. So we are brought to this panel where we can create a new step. The first thing we need to do is choose what element this step is going to act on. So we click on Select Element. You can see here that Test Project has automatically created elements based on the ones we've already interacted with in our test. So we'll just click on the password element here to choose that one. And then under the actions, we'll select an action. And let's just put in the search box type text and choose that action uh, from the list. And once we've chosen that, we can just fill in the text that we want. So let's put in the password, one, two, three, four, five and create this test step. Now all we want to do is log in, so we'll just click on that button to automatically add that to the test steps as well. As a final step, let's just validate that we've been taken to this page and that the name we put in is displayed here. So we can mouse over John Doe on this page and double shift to freeze it, and then go to validations and choose contains text to add that, and here in the text, we'll verify that we got John Doe on this page and create that test step. 
Now that we're done creating the test, we can close this window and return to the main test project page where the test will be set up and ready for anyone on our team to use and run. There is, of course, a lot more that we can do with the test recorder and with other ways of creating a test, but this should give you a taste of how easy it is to create a new test in Test Project.